Yet despite 35 years of troubles with the IRA, the British public is not aware of the names of the perpetrators, the vast majority of the bombings that occurred in that period. Indeed, those people who were ultimately uh, incarcerated for their supposed involvement in bombs have subsequently been released because they were framed by the British security services. We also need to acknowledge the fact that none of the victims' identity was released for at least four days after 7-7 with the exception of the four supposed terrorists, one of whom's ID was found in two locations, in Aldgate and in Edgware Road. What is that all about? And how is it that these individuals can be identified inside 24 hours? It smacks again of the 9-11 situation of Mohammed Atta's passport fluttering down out the sky and being found two blocks away from the World Trade Center. I'm going to close my last slide. A couple of observations from Marcus Aurelius, second century philosopher, also a warrior. So to frequently consider the connection of all things in the universe. What is happening is happening for a very important reason. It is part of the planetary transformation process. It is up to us to embrace that process. I recognize our shadow, our planetary shadow, and bring it on board. And I'll leave you with this observation. What we do in life ripples through eternity. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Ian Crane. Thank you. Ian. Ian Crane. Fantastic stuff.